Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's kind of a weird sound. Let's see. Hey, everybody. Whoa, that's kind of weird. <laughs> There's a strange sound coming from... Uh, anyways, it'll have to do. Uh, it sounds feel like I'm hearing my voice twice. Anyways, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Morning Chill. I've got something weird going on with the microphone, uh, but it's going to have to uh, settle for today. Um, how are you doing? It's good to be here. Uh, back in the saddle, as they say. Um, how is your Thursday going? How has your week been? What's going on for the weekend? What are you drinking this morning? All that good stuff. All the normal questions that I ask. Uh, got a little bit of different audio setup today. I was getting um, a little annoyed with the sound of the pickup on my cello. So um, what I've been wanting to do this for a long time is to loop a mic to cello. Um, and But the problem was every time I click the loop, um, I would actually record that and I hear the click back. But I'm using a different looper that has a silent um, click. And so I should be able to loop some. You actually hear what my cello sounds like. Um, it's kind of tough to hear uh, through the pickup. And so you'll hear it mic'd today, which is nice. Uh, I'm using a new looper, though. So I uh, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I've used a, maybe a total of 12 minutes. So I don't quite know how to uh, use it real well yet. But I, th I think it's going to be I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, if you, you know, we haven't done this in a while. If, if you would, I'd love it if you could uh, share this link with some of your friends. Uh, you can either just, you know, copy paste the link or, or press the share button. Um, or you could, what else could you do? You could just send somebody a message and say, hey, I'm listening to more in cello. And I think you'd like it. And why don't you join us? Um, I'm looking to try to regrow the morning cello community. Um, I think the morning cello community uh you know, at the very beginning, because everybody was at home um, during the pandemic, uh, we had so, s such larger numbers. Um, and so everyone's kind of back to work and uh, it's early in the morning. So anyways, if, if you wouldn't mind sharing this, I'd be much appreciated. Uh, hi, Carrie from Seattle, not too far from here, just a three and a half, four hour drive. I might be up in Seattle actually here shortly. Uh, I'm going to go take a look at some cellos. Uh, I've been planning to to kind of trade in this instrument for for a little while and uh, try something new. So I might might be up there at some point here shortly. Um, yeah, uh, for the for the holidays, my uh, family and I we are flying to um, we're going to be in the Chicago area in Northwest Indiana where my folks are from, and so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't seen my family in a while. Um, I haven't seen my brother and his his two girls in uh, in two years. Have I ever met Charlotte? Yes, I met Charlotte. Um, I met Charlotte for the Thanksgiving, I think, just before the pandemic. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here. My name is Joshua McLean. This is Morning Chill. I broadcast live from Portland, Oregon. Uh, I do this every Thursday, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, it's good to be here again. Thank you for being here. And I'll talk to you soon. And I was saying for the, some of you that just joined me, I'm, I'm using a uh, just a microphone on the cello. And so you'll actually hear what this instrument sounds like.
Well, hello everybody who's joined uh, since the last time. Uh, what am I trying to say? Since the last time I, I chatted with you. Um, I'm using a new looper today, so I'm still trying to figure that out. And there's something kind of going on funky with the microphone. But um, the important thing is that you're all here and that we're here together. And uh, it's great to be here. So, <laughs> uh, How are you, all of you doing? Uh, where are you listening from? What's going on these days? How's your weekend looking? How was your week? How was your Halloween? Uh, Yo-Yo had a great Halloween, although he was a little sick. Um, but yeah, he... He actually woke up uh, the morning of, of Halloween and ran to our big window in the front, and he just said, it doesn't look like Halloween. Uh, but by the, you know, after his nap time, uh, when it was Halloween, he was very, very excited um, to, to go trick-or-treating and see the big celebration. And so uh, he dressed up as a ghost, and he was very cute. I dressed up as the cat in a hat, which involved mostly just <laughs> wearing a cat in a hat hat, uh, but he loves it, and actually he's been making me wear it um, in general, I just have to wear it around the house, which is kind of fun. Um, anyways, uh, it's nice to be here. Thank you again for, for joining me uh, this morning from Morning Cello. It's a pretty good crowd today. Uh, if, if you if you feel compelled to, feel free to share this with your friends and, and let them know what you're up to and uh, and uh, that, you, that you like the show and you, th you think they might like it too. So I'm trying to rebuild the Morning Cello community here. So if you wouldn't mind sharing this, uh, either by just uh, posting the link on your Facebook page or sending the link in a personal message to people to let them know. Uh, it's still happening and it's still good and all that good stuff. So thank you again for being here. My name is Joshua McLean. This is Morning Cello and I will talk to you shortly.
Thank you. 
Well, hello. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah, the flow feels pretty good today. I'm, I've actually gone back and listened to um, some early morning cellos. It was always my intention to, but then I, when I realized there's like 140 of them and I had to listen to like 140 hours of myself playing cello, I was like, oh. So I, I'm just kind of finally starting that. And the reason I did that is because I, I started recording uh, and like, well, this one, this one track is this is one is the first track that I want to record and so I've got all the parts recorded into the, my um uh, I've got all the parts recorded um but then I was having some trouble with part of it and I was like god I can't I feel like I can't finish this song right now like what am I going to do there's nothing I can do and then I'm like oh I could go back and start cataloging all of the songs or parts that I want to work on that I've done through morning cello and so I started going back and um I realized at the beginning I was sort of improvising a lot more and felt a lot more free and you know, as you kind of do these things over and over again, even though it's, you know, your own show, you kind of get locked into certain patterns and you don't see any other way than the way you've been doing it. And so I felt like the longer I did morning cello, the more I started feeling like I couldn't express myself because I don't know, I, I was like, well, it's hard to come up with that much music, but then also uh, how do you stay fresh yourself as a musician? And, um, and so as I started to listen back through morning cello and also seeing how excited I was about it at the beginning, uh, it was really um, sort of m motivational for me to continue um, putting my full spirit into morning cello. Um, and so uh, that's been really exciting going back through those pieces. And so uh, the other day I just went through, I, I think I'm a morning cello three right now, um, but I'm reminding myself like, oh, like, what do you mean there's nothing to work on? Like you have this song and that song in, in this section and this piece that could be blended into this other piece. And so... Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and creating a project in Logic Pro X and um, and uh, and recording the basic loops. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter if I miss a note or if it's flat or sharp or whatever. I just get it in there. Then I record the major parts of it and then I name it and then I put it in the folder and then I go through and I play the next one. And so I'm just building, I think I've got like 10 or 11 project files now that I'm like, okay, now I know that I have something that I can work on for Morning Cello. And so the, the album is, is happening. I'm actually working on it and recording pieces. Um, but yeah, so that's really exciting. And uh, and 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 it's all because of, of you folks um, for helping me, uh, to for believing in me enough to, to use your dollars to help me crowdfund to build that studio. And now that I have that studio, um, even after I release Morning Cello, I'll be able to make music indefinitely um, and then, you know, I met my friend Todd, who's a great, uh, sound engineer. And so now he, uh, now I'm, I'm getting kind of a crash course on how to engineer. And it's all stuff that I didn't know how to do, um, in February or March of 2020. And now I'm, I've got a studio. I know how to record. I have really, really great gear. Um, I'm motivated and I have a bunch of, uh, I have a bunch of music because of morning cello. And so it's, I feel really lucky to be in the place that I'm at. And sometimes it's hard, it's easy to lose sight of that. And I feel like, you know, morning cello week in and week out was kind of, you know, it can kind of grind you down. I'm like, oh no, I, have to, I don't know what to play. And no, you know, there aren't as many people as there were before and all this stuff. And, but as I went back and started listening to it, it's actually been a really nice process for me as a, as a morning cello presenter to, to see how excited I was and to see how excited all of you were and still are. Um, and then you still show up week in and week out. And so it's my responsibility also to, to show up uh, as a musician and to, and to bring new and, ex and, and, ex and exciting stuff. Nan, I can, I can record and produce. I, I can. Um, I think I need to get a little bit more advanced in terms of my speed of working through, um, working through logic. Uh, but yeah, I think within about a year I'll be really comfortable. And plus my studio is so beautiful that like, even though it's uh, 11 feet by 13 feet, minus a little wall that has a, a couple of uh, square feet taken away because of the shower behind it. Um, it's, a, it's about 145 square feet, but I think because it's got such a cool vibe that people will want to come and record. And also it's, it's sound treated really well. So uh, the sounds sounds really great and, and that's all very exciting. Anyways, I just want to talk about that and kind of talk about the process of what's going on with the Morning Cello album. It's happening. I think I would like to be done recording all the tracks um, by February. And so I, I was talking to Rosario last night that I'm, I'm thinking probably about a tentative release date of April. Um, but of course, as uh, contributors of the album, I'll be making sure to, to make sure that you get sneak peeks to all the tracks and that kind of stuff. So 
Um, I know it's a little behind schedule, about <laughs> close to a year behind schedule, but that's how long it takes. And we didn't plan to move, and I didn't know what it took to build a studio. But it's all happening, and, and thank you so much for all of your support is what I want to say. Anyways, before I lose all of you, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing the cello. Uh, thank you for being here, and uh, it means a lot to me to, to have you as, as, as supporters. So thank you.
Diana, did I know that? Do you play cello? Did I? Anyways, it's always good to work on your wrist and fingers. I <laughs> there's so much stuff I need to work on uh, with cello. It's a heck of an instrument. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna play one more here for you today, and then and let you go. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, that next, that last one I just played, uh, it's just a G to a C uh, over and over again. That one will um, be on the Morning Cello album for sure. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah, the cello is an amazing instrument. I'm glad that you're playing. I'm sure you can commiserate, Diana, about how... <laughs> how difficult of an instrument the cello is. It's like a constant struggle to get sound out of this little bad boy.
hit the wrong button there <laughs> at the end. I, I, I mentioned I was using a new uh, looping pedal. And so anyways, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's great to have you. Um, I look forward to seeing you all. Uh, no, not next Thursday. Uh, I will actually be in Las Vegas. I was hired to, to shoot some video there uh, for a company. And so I will be traveling. I've never been to Las Vegas. I don't think I'll like it very much. But um, so let me figure out. Maybe we'll do Moin Cello on Monday because I'm gone Tuesday through uh, Tuesday through Friday. So stay tuned. I will let you know about Morning Cello next week. Um, this is a listener viewer supported show. And so uh, it's free, but it's also uh, supported by folks like you. Uh, and if you'd like to make a contribution to support Morning Cello, you can do so through the links in the comment section. Uh, they're pinned there. It's uh, paypal.me forward slash Josh Tipjar or at Venmo at, at Joshua McLean. Um, and so there you go. Uh, thank you again for being here. My name is Joshua McLean. I uh, broadcast live from Portland, Oregon. This is Morning Cello, and I will see you next time. Until then, take care, stay safe, and all that other good stuff.